Okay, after a very long weekend of working my ass off on this thing, this is where I've gotten to. What I've done here is these are sliding glass door replacement track covers, and I made cuts and got them fit on there. And they're epoxy to the uh, plywood. And uh, I don't think they're coming off there. And then the actual bearings are uh, sliding glass door bearings, of course, also. So and they're designed to carry a pretty good amount of weight. So they should run good. Uh, they're pinched in there, so I shouldn't have any real raise or anything like that and should give me a pretty good run. I got the start of the, so this would be the Y axis here and I've got the start of the X axis right here. The second two tracks are down here. I haven't completed them but you can see the two cuts I made on them to do that. And here's some of the tracking material so they should wear fine. There's not going to be really any weight on the thing, so they should la outlast anything else. So everything's put on here. It's all square. Very little pressure to push it. Move it back and forth. So, but there it is. Uh, before I, when I break it down the last time to do all the final sanding cleanup. I'm probably going to go ahead and cut one more uh, slot right right across here. Maybe just some short ones right there on both ends. That way I've got a little bit more hold down room. And uh, but other than that, it should work fine. It extends past. That way I've got my router will go all the way to the end to get maximum out of the framework. And uh, so, but there it be at this point in time. I will continue on it probably Tuesday or Wednesday. I've got some other tasks around here that I gotta get done before then, but there it is.